Two New Mexico women are accused of going to great lengths to prey on a teenaged boy. News 13's Brittany Bade breaks down the troubling allegations. Brittany? Dean, police say the women and the teenage boy met online, and they're accused of tricking him to meet them in person. And when he did, they quickly realized he had been lied to. A 14 year old boy thought they were taking him to their house, just a half hour away, to play Xbox. But these two women are now accused of kidnapping him and driving him to their New Mexico home. They're sick. They're sick individuals to do that to a 14 year old boy. Pittsburgh County, Oklahoma Sheriff Chris Morris's deputies responded to the call of the missing teenage boy in mid April. All that he knew was the boy stayed on the Xbox all the time. A search of the Xbox revealed the boy had been talking to 35 year old Christy Aragon, a candy shop owner in Farmington. The boy told police it soon got sexual, and Aragon said she wanted to have sex with him. The two arranged to meet in person. When the teen got in the car, Aragon's friend, who police say is 29-year-old Melissa Goals, was also there. The women told him they were going to New Mexico and he would never be coming back home. That's the doomsday scenario, and that's what we're trying to prevent. Special Agent Jay Ratliff says a woman initiating this type of crime is rare, but predators going out of their way for a victim isn't. It does happen uh, pretty frequently, unfortunately. In the nearly 13-hour drive from Oklahoma to Farmington, the boy says he was sexually assaulted multiple times. When he said he wanted to go home, the women allegedly told him his only way out was to be left naked on the side of the road. Luckily, this nightmare ended as soon as Aragon's car pulled into her driveway. Authorities in Oklahoma had told Farmington police to be on the lookout for the women, and when they got home, they were waiting. The teenage boy is back home safe and the women are in the San Juan County Jail. According to the affidavit, Aragon has a history of sex crimes involving minors in New Mexico. However, our record search did not show that history. Dean. All right, Brittany, thank you. Aragon and Goals will be extradited back to Oklahoma next week. Aragon faces up to 30 years in prison. Goals faces up to 10. Federal charges will likely be filed against both women.